hello guys welcome to another flutter tutorial today we are going to build an instagram clone this is just going to be a GUI tutorial so we are just going to build the interface uh, the images that you guys can see right now are the screens that we are building today this is going to be a good reference so we have a visual representation of what we are building uh, so okay let's get on with the tutorial i already went ahead and created the project uh, the first thing that we're going to do is to clean our main dart. So we're just going to get rid of these comments right here. We don't need none of this stuff. And we're also going to delete everything here. Then the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and create our project uh, structure. And we are going to create our first screen and import it into the main dart. Always remember, it's very important to keep uh, our code as clean as possible. So we're going to go over here to the live folder and we are going to create three more folders. We're going to create a, a folder called data. This is where we're going to store our data. This is where would, uh, in a real project, this is where would the uh, databases and models and everything would be here. So we're going to create another folder, which is going to be called screens. And then we're going to create another folder, which is going to be called widgets. Our first screen is going to be our main screen, and we're going to go ahead and create it right now. This is where we're going to place our button navigation bar. So we just go here into the screen folder, create a new document and call it main screen dot dart. And inside here, we have to import the material package. So just control C this part and we're going to create a stateless widget for now. Uh, go ahead and create a scaffold. And inside the scaffold, we are going to set the body property. And here we are going to create a center widget with a text widget. So once we import it into the main screen, we can see the changes. Now just go ahead here and delete this board and import the main screen. Main screen the darn and we should be able to see the changes on the emulator. Now let's work on the first screen. Uh, we are going to build our bottom navigation bar here. Uh, let me drag this picture so you guys can see it. Uh, this is going to be the GUI that we are going to build for our home screen and this is the na navigation bar. Uh, this is how it's going to look after we are done. As you guys can see, uh, we are going to have five different icons for five different screens. Uh, this is going to be home, this is search, uh, this is going to be for the reels, and this is going to be for the shop, and this is going to be for the profile. So, okay, let's get started. Okay, the first thing that we are going to do is we're going to get rid of this board, and we're going to create a scaffold. Uh, we're going to put a background color property in the scaffold and we're going to be having a black color, so colors the black. Now we're going to create a body property and we're going to leave that for later. Now we're going to continue with a bottom navigation bar. We're going to use the widget bottom navigation bar. Okay. Uh, this is going to take items. Uh, this is the property and inside this property we're gonna put our bottom navigation bar items okay so let's create them so it's gonna be called bottom navigation bar item right here uh, here is gonna ask you to uh, for uh, icon so we're gonna say icons uh, is actually icon icons the home Now another property that's required is label. So even if you're not if you don't use it, is you have to specify the label property. So just label and we're not gonna use it since Instagram doesn't have it. And also the background color, which is black as well. Okay. 
Now we're gonna make this a constant and it's gonna be of type bottom navigation bar item. The next thing that we're going to do is we're gonna copy and paste uh, this part five times since we have five uh, pages. Let's align this a little bit and now we're going to change the icon. So the first one, well, the second one is search outline and uh, the third one is going to be smart displayed outline. Uh, disk icons, I looked them up in the Flutter documentation. You can see they have a lot of icons and yep, you can just go ahead and look that up if you want to use other ones. This is going to be a car gift card outline and the last one is going to be just that person. Okay, now we are going to set properties for the bottom navigation. So, so the first property is going to be background color and it's going to be colors the black. The second one is going to be unselected item color and it's going to be colors the white. So whenever we're not uh, selecting a tab it's gonna be a white color you can put here whatever you want uh, here we're gonna specify this is very important the show selected label true because if you're not using a label they disappear by default uh, here the icon size is gonna be 30 then the current index uh, this is gonna let Flutter know the current index or current page that we are in so we have to first convert this stateless widget into a stateful widget just refactor it and now we're going to create a variable int and it's going to be called selected index which is going to be zero by default because that's going to be our first page and now we can call our variable right down here so just call selected index now we're going to do another property which is selected item color so the color the current selected um, navigation tab so it's just white and the last property is going to be on tap so what's going to be the functionality when we tap so it's going to be navigation so just let's go up here and now we're going to create a function it's going to be of type void and we're going to call it on item tapped as a parameter we're gonna accept an index. Now open square brackets and we're gonna call state. So we're gonna put our selected index here, which is gonna be equal to the index, okay? So whenever we change state, it's gonna be equal to the index, so the current state. It's very clear, guys. And now you just go down here and you call your function. Okay, now we have to create a list for our screens or widgets that we want to call whenever we call state. So let's go ahead and do it. So it's going to be static uh, list of type widget. We're going to call it a list options. It's going to be equal to widget type list so just call widget right here and here we're gonna specify our screens as of for now for testing purposes we're just gonna use a text widget so let's go ahead and create a text widget let's just go ahead and say text uh, hello world uh, and we're gonna put a style because by default or text is black so we have to say the style text style and color is going to be colors are white okay so we can see the widget in screen and lastly we have to uh, put make our body so we're going to create a center widget which is going to be here we have in a child and we're going to call our um, list options and we're going to call the function element at so this is going to locate the element that we are and we're going to pass the selected index which is by default zero now let's refresh the screen and see here you have it as you guys can see we can see our hello world but if we navigate if we try to navigate 
uh, it's gonna call an error right here because whenever you uh, specify the number of screens right here in this list it has to be the same as the number of tabs that you have okay so if you have five tabs it's gonna be it's gonna have to be five screens or five widgets whatever it is it has to be the same value okay so let's just copy and paste this five more times and we're going to refresh the screen okay now our application is loading and there you go you guys can see that we can navigate between widgets. We have word one, hello word one, two, three, four, and one. Well, change the values here. So perfect. Now we can start working in our homepage. Okay, first of all, we're going to get rid of all these text widgets and we are going to create our screens. So let's just navigate here to the screens folder. Okay, we're going to create the home screen dot dot. Now we have to import uh, material dot dot. So just copy and paste this uh, from here. Copy and paste. Uh, now we're going to create a stateless widget in the meantime, and we're going to name it home screen. And we're going to do exactly the same for the other screens. We're going to just go ahead and create all of our screens. So just copy and paste this part right here. Go to the folder and create another screen. This is going to be uh, our profile screen. So profile slash screen dot dot and copy and paste. And now we have to just change this part right here to profile. Okay, one more time, we're going to create our search screen. Um, I'm just going to do that right now. We could wait. We could have just replaced the home screen because it's the one that we are going to work right now, but just might as well. Uh, it's the same, guys. So let's create another screen. Uh, this is going to be the shop screen. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, if you guys need a code, it's going to be in the description in my GitHub. So you guys can download the code uh, in case you don't want to follow along with the tutorial. It's up to you, though. So, OK, uh, we're going to create one more screen and this is going to be the real screen. Let's just copy and paste to the same as we did before. And we're going to go ahead and create uh, two more screens. We have the login and the register. These two are not going to be linked to our bottom navigation bar, but we're going to create them just now and we're going to use them later. OK, now I'm going to go ahead and skip the, the tutorial so we can start working in our home screen. OK, so see you there. OK, now we're going to come back to the main screen and we're going to import all of our screens. The first one is going to be the home screen. Then we have the search one. Let me just look it up right here is here then we're gonna uh, paste the uh, uh, real screen so just real screen make sure you import all the values here uh, then we're gonna do the shop one and last and least the profile screen okay this is a list of widgets and okay we are done here now let's navigate to the home screen and now that we are here we can start working and building our UI. Now we are going to replace this container for a scaffold and we are going to uh, specify a background color which is going to be black. So you guys are already kind of familiar with this uh, syntax. So then we're going to do an app bar and this is going to be of type widget app bar. Okay. And the first um, thing that we're going to put is automatically imply leading which is going to be false. So this means we don't want every time we navigate, we don't want the arrow in the corner in the nav bar. Um, you guys probably seen that in many apps. So now center title is going to be false. So we don't want the title by default in the center. Now the elevation is going to be zero. Uh, we don't need any elevation here. And the background color for the app bar is going to be black as well. Now we are going to specify a title and 
this is going to be a const a constant and it's going to be a size box okay inside here is where we're going to put our image or instagram image i'll show you what uh, i'll show you the image right now so let's just do a height of 50 pixels and same with a width of 120 all of these are uh, predefined values i tested them before i record this video so now we're going to do an image which is going to have a image and it's going to be a type asset image okay so it's going to be a local image and i'll show you right now how do we import these kind of images here so we have to go to the pub spec jump and right down here we have to uncomment these two lines so these assets make sure it lines up with the line the blue line be, uh, be above this one and this one same with this one as well just uh, two backspaces and now we are going to change the name so assets and images uh, this is where we going to store images we're going to create those folders right now as you guys can see it's giving us an error because we don't have those folders yet so let's just go ahead and create them we have to go to the main folder of the project and let's create our first folder which is assets and inside this folder just create another folder which is our images uh, if you are making it this far guys don't forget to like and subscribe uh, this enjoys to grow the channel a lot thank you so much now come down here and now this is the instagram image that we have or logo so we're going to drag these and drop it here in images and let's go let's go ahead and change their name so let's just change it to logo so it's simpler and now we have to import these inside our asset image widget okay so just say assets images that logo png okay so this is the address for the specific the route address route whatever for the specific image okay now we have to we have to uh, reinitialize the app okay okay so as you guys can see we have loaded our image instagram and it's looking good this is exactly how it's gonna be in our project okay now let's just get rid of this debug sign all right so go to the main uh now uh we are gonna continue and we're gonna go and actions and we're gonna create these uh icons on the other side so just let me show you our image of the ui that we have as you guys can see we have on the right corner we have three icons and those icons are inside our row okay so we're gonna create that right now so let's just go to actions and we're gonna create a row which is gonna have children it's gonna have a children widgets and these are gonna be a constants so because they're just icons and now we're gonna specify the first one okay it's gonna be an icon and the name is gonna be icons uh, dot outbox outline okay it should be right here um this one and now we're gonna give it a size which is 30 and okay now we're going to uh, okay it's right there in the screen you guys can see it let's refactor this icon because we need some padding and that should be good so they have some space between the icons and now we're just gonna copy and paste this pattern it's really simple two more times so we have the other icons and then we replace uh, the icon names the second one is gonna be called favorite outline around it and the next one is gonna be energy saving lift outline this is uh, has nothing to do with Instagram chat I know but it looks really similar just take a look right now it's crazy I found this on the <laughs> Flutter navigation that was really cool so yes we're done here so let's pop up our image and see what we have next now as you guys can see we have a line below our app bar so this should be really easy to create we're gonna use a container with a height of one pixel so really thin line and we're gonna occupy the width as i'll show you in a second right now okay so let's go ahead and create our body and this is gonna be a column and it's gonna have children okay this is a column okay and 
our container is gonna be right here so let's create a container uh, it's gonna be a color grade shape 700 okay this is all tested values I already know what the colors are gonna be you can pretty much experiment and the height is gonna be one it's gonna be a thin line and the width is gonna be responsive so it's gonna be media query of context size width okay so it's always gonna occupy the entire width of our screen okay in any in any device this is very useful and it's very similar to the media query of CSS okay okay so we're done here now I'm gonna pop up our screen right now and as you guys can see our next step is gonna be creating our stories widget okay so as you guys can see we have a rounded container okay but we're going to create two okay it's gonna be because you guys can see that we have an uh border a uh, pink border so let's just go ahead to widgets and we're gonna create a circle story dot dot i'll show you what i mean in a second okay we have two widgets so we are gonna use a stack widget okay so okay this circle the door let's just import the material the door and let's create a status widget really quick okay now let's replace this container with a padding all right so this is gonna have a property padding and uh, it's gonna be edge insets all and the uh, value is gonna be 6.0 now we are going to have a child and this is gonna be a clip oval okay so it's gonna be a kind of a circle container and we're gonna have an image as a child okay let's make our image a widget which has an image property and we're gonna use a network image this time this is the same as asset image but this one uses a URL from the internet okay so I'm just gonna grab our image right now but let's specify the height and the width for our image it's gonna be 68 for the two values okay I already have my image right now here I copy the link you can just go ahead to Pixabay for example and grab any link just copy paste and paste it inside our widget okay okay now we're gonna do our last property which is fit and it's gonna be box fit cover okay and we are done with our circle widget so this is just the image okay we are still missing let me move this for you guys we are still missing the uh, border the pink border that you guys see around our image in the story widget okay so we're gonna create that right now so why do we need two widgets and we just can create the border right here because we are gonna use the same widget in our uh, profile and our postcard down below as you guys can see so let's just go ahead to widgets folder and create a story widget and we're gonna do the same steps as before let's import the material the dart and we're gonna create a story widget okay the first thing that we are going to do here is gonna call a variable it's gonna be a final variable and it's gonna be of type of string and it's gonna be username because or widget you guys can also see that we also have a, mm, a name okay so just require this username here in the constructor in the constructor I'm sorry and then let's do a column you guys are already familiar you should be already familiar with this syntax and let's create our children widgets okay the first one is gonna be a padding with a property padding and we're gonna do a cons or edge insets all okay it's gonna be eight by default and now let's create our child okay so wait let's just do a constant really quick here And this is gonna be a, a stack okay that's gonna be your child and right here uh, we're gonna create our container okay so our border for our story widget okay and then after this one we're gonna put our story widget okay I mean our circle story okay I'm sorry so the container will have a height and a width of 80 so let's just type that 
Now we are gonna do a decoration for the container, which is gonna be of type box decoration widget. And the first thing is gonna be the color. Okay, so color is gonna be colors black. So you guys can see around, there's two borders, a little black and a little uh, pink one. Okay, so let's just do black. So now let's do a border radius, which is gonna be of type border radius that's circular. And it's gonna be 50 by default. Now we're gonna create our border. It's gonna be of type widget that border all, and it's gonna have a color of pink. So say colors pink. And now we are gonna do a width. It's gonna be about three. Okay. And we are done with our borders. All right, we're black and pink borders and now let's paste our image above this stack okay so it's gonna be on top of this container that's gonna call our circle story okay so let's just import this one now down below let's do our text okay don't forget our text so text username we have to pass the variable that we create on top and we have to style this so let's do styled and it's gonna be of textile widget and we're gonna specify a font size of 13 and the same as a color which is gonna be gray shade 500 okay guys let's save these changes and let's go back to our home screen okay so now that we have our um, story widget completed we can go ahead and create a list okay so we're gonna I'm gonna show you the way the right way of you of of creating a list of widgets okay so even if you have more than the size of the screen you don't get errors okay so let's create a size box every time that you do a list it has to be inside a container or a size box or height is just gonna be 120 and the child is gonna be the list view so if you don't use the list inside a size box or a container it's gonna give you a rare error okay so make sure you never forget that the first uh, item builder is gonna be a function so first parameter is gonna be the context and then we're gonna do an index okay let's open square brackets and we're gonna return our story widget right here so let's say return and our story widget okay and we need also to pass our username right so for this we're gonna create a list all right so let's do it but first let's do the scroll direction this is an another parameter and it's gonna be vertical by default so let's just change it to horizontal and we need one more it's gonna be the item count which is also why we need the list all right so this is gonna be how many widgets we have in our list so let's just scroll up right here and we are going to type our list it's gonna be a final list and we're gonna call it underscore stories and equal square brackets and right here we're just gonna put all of our items all right so it's gonna be story one let's do about five I guess that's a good number we have to get rid of that constant okay because because we have a list we don't have a constant anymore on the constructor so let's just copy and paste these five times now let's change these values to two three four so we can differentiate uh okay so now in our item count we have to call our list and this is gonna be the length or the list all right so we have to use the property length so say stories dot length this is co this comes by default with flutter and the same in the username we have to call our stories and we are gonna use our index all right so index pass the index in the square brackets and do a semicolon all right so let's save the document to see what happens and boom we have our story widget which is looking good but i guess i think i forgot to put the commas on our list that's why we only have two so story one and story two <laughs> so let's just put the commas really quick uh okay this should be it uh i think I'm just gonna refresh the screen okay that should work 
and okay we have refreshed the screen and this is our uh, list all right it is, it's looking pretty good it's the same as the picture that we have so we're moving forward this is the way that you create a list and if we were using a database instead of a list you use the database all right so you import all of uh, ev all your data here right so let's grab our GUI here and see what we need to do next we're going to do a container okay so we see a line below our story so let's just copy and paste this container and okay right here we're moving forward now we have to create our postcard this is going to be the fun part all right we're going to go ahead and create a list uh this time i'm going to create the list first so we can see the changes in screen so let's create the work i'm creating an expanded widget which is a widget that occupies the space that we have available so it's going to occupy all of our space is this is instead of the container so list view builder all right you guys are already familiar with this we already did it's going to be the same so let's pass our function we have a context and an index let's return our post screen which we haven't created yet let's just put it here then we can import it this time i'm doing i'm doing the list first so we can see changes in screen now we have to specify all other values so scroll direction is going to be this time vertical it's vertical by default but let's just specify it so we can see what we're doing and we need an item count okay we need the same just as we did for the stories we need another list okay for our post to specify how many posts we have this would be instead of a database so let's just go up here and copy paste this all right and just change the names so instead of stories let's say posts and let's change these other values really quick so we can differentiate okay let's scroll down let's import these values let's just change it post and i think i have a typo here i always misspelled that length word <laughs> okay okay now that we're done here let's go ahead and create our postcard so it's going to be postcard.org let's import the material the dart and we're gonna create a stateless widget let's just uh it's right here stateless widget let's name this a postcard okay now that we have it let's import that in our home screen and we're pretty much done here okay uh now let's just work on our postcard let's save these changes so we can see save uh changes in screen whenever we do something in postcard widget and okay this should be fun let's pop up our ui to see what we have to do first so you guys have an idea what we're doing the first thing as you guys can see on screen right here we're gonna do uh, we have to use our story widget okay but without the border all right so let's change this into a column and as you guys can see the username and the story are gonna be a row all right so it's going to be a row inside a row we have the main row and including the icon in the other corner and a small row right there so let's create those children and here let's place another row let's create our children all right i think i'm missing the uh puntos in spanish <laughs> And this is gonna be a constant type okay yes okay so just taking a look of what we have to do right now uh, yes I think the first thing that we're going to do is the pattern I'm gonna put our story widget inside the pattern all right already so let's say the properties is gonna be const h only all right so we're gonna have, we're gonna need left eight and we're gonna do top as well which is gonna be three okay let's get rid of this part top three sweet okay moving along so we're gonna have a child and the same as before just a size box and inside the size box we're gonna put our circle story just height it's gonna be 55 with the same and the child is gonna be a circle story all right so let's save the changes and see what happens in screen and yes 
we are seeing our uh, circle story right now and we have five of them because in our list that we created before we have five and it's a vertical view right so yes moving along let's create our size box so we have some padding between our username and our story and our profile uh, profile uh, page profile image I mean so it's gonna be right here size box of width 3 and right next to it let's just do a text super simple guys it's gonna be called username one two three let's style this all right so we are familiar with the this widget as well so this text style is gonna be color of white and we're gonna do a font size of about um i guess 15 15 is good yes i created a padding and an icon right here so there you have it we paste it and it's gonna be by default in the other side because of our main axis alignment the space between and it's looking good guys i think our app is taking form that's why we needed two rows okay so one row for the image and the username and another one for our icon in the other side all right so the next step is going to be the image all right so that should be pretty simple so let's just go down below here okay in our column this time we are gonna create a size box which is gonna be width of media query because we want it to occupy the entire space by default all right in all of our screens we don't have a fixed height we have a fixed height we don't have a fixed width that's what i meant <laughs> i got confused anyways we'll have a child of constant and this is going to be an image right so we're going to use the same as before we're going to have a network image i already have the link you guys can go to pixabay they have free images and let me just copy and paste this really quick okay copy and paste and let's get rid of all these okay then where is my project it's right here okay so once we paste these and save those uh changes we should the app should look way better all right so you guys guys all right see as you guys can see the app is taking form already we already can tell that this is an instagram clone it looks pretty good in my opinion pretty good ui let's go ahead and create the other widgets okay we still need the likes and the username and the comments all right and we also need the icons that go below this image okay so now we're just gonna i'm gonna put these comments here as a way to know where the or um where how to differentiate between the code this is a way i clean i clean my code like this all the time these are really good i can tell where things are it's really useful um okay so below this size box we need to create let me drag or gui image so you guys can see uh, we need to do uh, the same as we did before above right there we have to do a row and a row inside a row okay that's pretty much what we have to do so let's just create a pattern because i think this has a pattern all right so it looks a little bit better it's not super close to the image and to the edges so let's do a const it's gonna be edge insets uh, all because we want the pattern in all of our sites. Let's do eight by default. All right, we're gonna have a child a road like I told you. Uh, let's have children, and those are gonna be uh, another row. Okay, we need to have two rows. All right, so for uh, we have to do another children all right and this is going to be a cons which is because they're just icons all right let's create a pattern all right guys so we have edge insets that only this time and we just need a left all right of two and uh we have a child we're gonna do an icon This is gonna be the heart, okay? So the like button. So let's do favorite outline around it. That's where it's called. And let's specify a color, which is gonna be white. And we also have to do the size, right? Okay, so we're pretty much done here. Uh, okay, check it out. 
All right, it lo it's looking pretty good. We have our like button right there. Let's create a size box. So we have space between the other icons. Let's specify a width of three pixels. And let's copy and paste this code, okay? So one, let's copy and paste this size box as well. And let's copy and paste our padding one more time with our icon. So we should be having our three icons right there in a row. Let me just put this here so you guys can see changes in screen. And there you go. We have three hearts. It's just about changing the icons right now. This one is going to be chat bubble outline uh, around it. Yes. This one right here. And this is called near me outline. All right, that's how it's called the little vertic uh, twister row, whatever it's called. <laughs> Let's change this by 13 and this one also 13 to the left, right? So we have some padding and yes, it's perfect. Okay, uh, I'm gonna copy and paste this uh, here because we need uh, another, in the other side, we need our, our dots, all right? So, um, copy and paste this here. We don't need the padding, right? So let's just get rid of this padding, and get rid of this parentheses, copy and paste. And yes, this is going to be a constant as well. And it's going to be of name book, uh, bookmark, border. Oops, I think I pasted in the wrong <laughs> row. So let's just cut it. And it's going to be in the other row, alright? Or wait, what I think is a problem is I forgot to do our property main axis alignment. Yes, that's the problem. So main axis alignment because it doesn't make sense if it's in the same row. That's why we have two rows in the first place. So it has to be space between and yes, there you go. It's in the other side and we can move forward. So that property makes the two or two items in the f main row uh, opposite to each other, right? So one in one corner, the other one in the other corner. So let's create another pattern right below here because we have to do our user or likes, I mean. Okay, uh, we're going to do our child right here. It's going to be a row because I'm using rows because by default our row makes the items uh, stick to the left so it's easier it's just a trick I do and we have to do a constant which is just gonna be a text right so let's say 145 likes and I never got that many likes <laughs> all right so text style we're gonna have a color which is gonna be white right okay let's just see changes in screen it's looking very good so now we have to go below our column we have to keep working on our column because now we have to do something below so let's just do uh, it has to be this a size box so we have one some space between our things right just you're already familiar with this Okay, so now we're gonna create in our uh, column a row, which is gonna be this time I'm not gonna forget. So main axis alignment is gonna be of type main axis alignment space between. Oh, yes, I have an extra parenthesis. So, okay, let's keep going. We have to create our uh, another row, okay, because uh, we're gonna have our username just exactly the same as we did before. We need uh, have our username, our username next to our description of the post. So this is gonna be of type constant. Uh, let's use a padding, all right? So to style everything, and let's do a left fourteen. We're gonna have a child, and now we're gonna type our username, which it was username one two three. Now let's style this. Let's say style widget, which is gonna have a color of white. Okay, and 
let's also do a full a font weight all right so let's do a bold because it has to be differentiate between the description of the post all right so there you go you have our username and screen it's looking good this has a font weight it's bold so we have to do a size box we need some space so we'll just do a width of three and right here we are gonna create a text okay we're gonna say hello this is my first uh, post in Instagram Okay, I'm just gonna uh, change the color to white here, okay? Okay, let me change it. save the changes. Uh, boom, it's looking pretty good. Now we have to do one, two more things. Uh, let's just go to our column. And right here, uh, we're gonna do a padding, all right. And this is gonna be for our comments. Let's just do a left, and we also need a child. Uh, okay, so we're gonna use a row. Remember, guys, we're using a row, so the uh, widget gets stuck to the left by default. So let's do a text here. Just type view um, fifty sixty four comments. All right we have to change the color okay guys so it's gonna be uh, grayish so let's do textile and color which is gonna be colors that shade 500 all right okay now we can copy and paste this pattern all right Okay, um, I'm just gonna copy the pattern and paste it. All right, so let's save the changes in here. So now just change the value of the text and we're gonna put uh, three days ago. Save changes on screen so we can see. And we also need a top, right, a top five here. So it looks a little bit better and boom. Uh, there you go. This is our Instagram um, UI of home. So it looks pretty good. It looks exactly the same as the picture that we have right here. Okay, so now we can start working in other screens. We're going to go ahead and start with the profile screen. Okay. As you guys can see, this is a scroll of all. We can scroll here and here. It looks pretty good. So let's just move this to the side and let's navigate to our profile screen. Okay guys, so we're gonna drag our design right here. And the first thing that we are going to start with is our app bar, okay? So we have a, a username and two icons, okay? So let's start. Let's drag this uh, to the corner again, okay? So we have a space for our code. So I'm gonna get rid of this container. I'm gonna do a scaffold and we are going to do body uh, but first we're going to do the app bar right so let's do an app bar and app bar widget and now we're going to say automatically uh, leading false now the background color is gonna be black now that we update you guys can see that the background color right now it's white so let's do a title and it's going to be a constant and there's going to be a text widget this is going to be our username so just say username one two three okay now we're going to do style property and we're going to do a text widget so text style widget and we're going to select the phone uh wait okay it's going to be bold so phone weight the bold Let's just save the changes so we can see everything. And okay, everything is looking good. 
now we need to do actions uh, property so let's just drag this a little bit here and so you guys can see uh, this is going to be uh, just two icons so it's going to be a row so we're already familiar with this uh, syntax guys so let's do a pattern here we're going to do now we're going to do edge insets old now we're going to create an icon and this icon is going to be uh, icon add box outline okay guys this is uh, the little box that you guys can see in our design and now the size is going to be 30 all right now we're going to go ahead and create the other icon okay i'm going to save the changes on screen so we can see uh, i think i'm missing a parenthesis so now let's save the changes and all right we can see your icon it's cool let's just do a comma here i'm gonna copy and paste this because it's the same exactly the same thing now we just have to change our icon so we're gonna name it uh, table rows okay i think it's not that one is tables uh, row rounded i selected by mistake outline okay i'm just gonna go ahead and change it so the table rows uh, rounded is right here now let's save the changes and it's perfect okay so i think we are done with the upboard so we're gonna start working in our body right so let's just select the color which is gonna be black now we're gonna select body uh, we're gonna do a column okay guys and it's gonna have children and okay Okay, I'm gonna select this uh, design right here so we can see what we are going to code right now. So as you guys can see, we have a uh, image and we have the following uh, post, the followers and the following. So this is gonna be a row with three columns inside this row, okay? So one row and three columns inside the row. So let's create our main row. Okay, let's just close parentheses let's select children property for widgets inside and inside here we're gonna select our uh, padding all right but first we're gonna do a main axis alignment uh, space between okay and this padding this is where we're going to uh, put our circle story okay guys let's do an edge insets only the top is gonna be five and the left is gonna be ten Okay, so we have some space from our app bar here. Now in the child, we are going to store our SQL story widget. All right, this is another reason why we separate the widget from the borders, from the story borders, All right? So we can reuse this widget many times. It's really good uh, code practice. So, okay, now that we have our uh, story widget here, we have to go ahead and create our columns, okay? so we're gonna do another row uh, that's gonna have children and then the first uh if widget is gonna be a column and this is gonna have children as well and it's gonna be constants it's just a text and an icon uh, text and a text okay <laughs> and this is gonna be 20 we have to select the style and we're gonna do font weight uh, okay let's do a font weight okay what happened here oh yes i'm forgetting the property so let's just delete this really quick and select font weight and this is going to be font weight the bold all right now we are going to select our color color is going to be white and we are same going to choose a uh, size so it's just going to be 20 okay we don't want it to be too big all right okay let's save the changes so you guys can see Okay, we have a 20 in screen. Now below this column, we're gonna create another text, which is gonna be called posts. So let's just go ahead and type posts. We're gonna give it a style of text style. We're gonna put a color and a font size, okay? We don't need font weight for this one. We don't want it to be too uh, spacious. So font size is gonna be 15, okay? So it is looking pretty good now i guess we can just copy and paste this column right because it's going to be the same for the other two so really simple actually 
So let's just copy and paste everything here. Okay, so next to this part, copy and paste below this uh, row. I mean inside this row. Okay, now let's do one more and there we go. We have our three uh, columns. Now let's just replace the values, okay? We have to select uh, this one, the second one and the third one. So let me just go ahead and type 130. I'm going to separate everything with comments so we have a way to differentiate our code so it's more clean. So let's create a row. You guys already know I do a row because by default the row uh, pushes our text to the left so it's easier for us. And in case we ever want to add that, this is a personal opinion, in case I ever want to add something extra to the app, I can just add it in the row. It's very convenient. So, okay, let's uh, finish here. And now inside our pattern, we're going to do our text. Okay, so this is going to be Daniele Luca. Now we're going to go ahead and select a style. The style is going to be text style. And we're going to give it a font weight, okay and a color of white. So let's just go ahead and type that. Okay, now that we are done here, uh, let's go ahead and copy. Uh, we're just gonna copy this part and we're gonna paste it below in our column. So we can do the description, the biography, I mean. So let's just copy and paste everything here. Okay, so let's just replace these and I guess we're gonna take uh, the font size and the font weight because that's gonna be too big. So let's type right I welcome you to my profile. Please do not stalk <laughs> Okay, guys now that we're done here. We're gonna go below. Let's go back to a row now We're gonna create our buttons. So as you guys can see uh, This is gonna be another row. Okay, because we have two widgets uh big let me drag this for you guys so you guys can see better so we have an edit profile button and the other add friends button i believe uh, i don't really know what's the functionality for instagram of that button okay so let's just do it so right here we have to go ahead and create our row so let's say row we're gonna say children it's gonna have a pattern of pattern a uh, property we're gonna say edge insets all. We're gonna make it a constant, okay? And the value is gonna be just eight, the value by default. Now this is gonna have a child and it's gonna have a container. We are going to specify a height. It's gonna be height of 30 and the width is gonna be 330, all right? So it's gonna be very width, white. All right, so the decoration, we're gonna say a widget box decoration the first first property is gonna be i'm sorry the color colors are great okay i'm gonna do a shade of 700 so it looks a little bit better now let's select a radius so border radius border radius dot circular and uh it's gonna be eight let's save the changes and okay it's looking pretty good just we just need to add the text so for that we're gonna select a child in the container and let's make it a constant it's gonna be a center because we want the text to be on the center so let's say text okay right here text okay let's do our text style we're gonna select a color which is gonna be white okay now we're gonna select the font weight let's make it bold okay so it looks a little bit better and nicer and boom it's looking pretty good now we're gonna have to go ahead and create our other button so i believe we're just gonna copy and paste these and we can just replace the values all right so change our values so let me select everything just from the pattern and copy and paste now i'm gonna go ahead and change the text uh oh yes this is actually not a text it's a icon so let's just get rid of this uh, center widget all right so and now we're going to uh let's change the values first so we can see changes in screen so width is going to be 30 and let's change this as to seven the uh, pattern 
right now we're gonna select an icon which is gonna be person at so let's go ahead and close parentheses and uh, text uh, type icons so our center widget is gonna have us in a person at and the color is gonna be just white so let's go ahead and make this a constant and boom it looks pretty good similar to our design okay a screen let's let me drag it a little bit here so you guys can see it better so now that we are done here we're gonna have to go back to our column and we're gonna have to do our text that we have below our button we have a space as well so for this space we are going to Okay, let me just uh, put a line here, a common line, so we don't, I don't get lost here. So let's just create another row and let's make our children. Now, okay, let's select the padding, which is const edge insets. All right, so let's be only and it's going to have a top of 16 and a left is going to be 18. Now we're going to select a child is going to have a text. Okay, this is going to be story highlights let's make it a style we're gonna have a style of color we're gonna do our font size as well so let's make white font size is going to be mm, i think 17 is gonna look good so let's type font size here 17 and then uh let's make give it a bolt all right so font weight that bolt you guys already seen this many times and it looks good all right, so let's just I'm now go ahead and copy this, all right, and paste it below, okay, because it's essentially the same code. So remember, we're using a row because by default, row uh, makes our widgets go to the left. It's easier for us. Let's just change this text right here. So we're going to say uh, the same as we have on our design picture. So keep your favorite stories on your profile on your profile let me text this right here uh, we also have to change these values uh, here mm, we're gonna get rid of the bolt let me see what we have here on screen it looks good okay now that we're done with this part we're gonna have to import our story widget with a list view this is the same because we have the same functionality in our profile so it's gonna be essentially the same we're gonna have to create our list down below in our column and then we're gonna have to import our widget but uh, everything we have done this before so it's not gonna be hard so let's uh, separate these we're gonna do a size box remember we need a size box or a container inside our list so let's do a child and we're gonna have a list view builder and we have to pass our function with a context and an index remember guys okay what happened here Okay, context index. Let me type index here. And we're going to open square brackets and we're going to select return. And we're going to return our story widget. Pretty simple. All right. So the username, we're going to give it a. Wait, before we're going to scroll direction and it's going to be axis horizontal. And now we also have to select the count, which is uh, we're going to have to go ahead and create our list. Remember? So. I guess we're just gonna go ahead and copy let's go back to our home screen and copy uh the same list which is it's just pretty much the same all right so copy here and let's go back to our profile and paste let's get rid of this constant because this isn't a constant stateless widget anymore so now in our items count let's say select story and here in our username we're gonna select our story and we're gonna uh, access its index all right so boom and semicolon let's save the changes in screen to see what happens and all right perfect you can see that's a scrollable uh everything's working nice so let's just select our self style and see what we have to do next now we're gonna do the tabs all right the are below so let's go ahead and create this okay we're gonna do a constant and it's gonna be of tab bar view all right this is how this is called so it's gonna have tabs and this is gonna be a type widget because it's gonna be uh they're gonna be widgets and we're going to 
close a square brackets we're gonna have an icon here and it's gonna be a uh, name video collections outline all right this is the name of our first tab okay you can put as many tabs as you want here so we're just gonna have two that's the design so now let's change the name here and we're gonna select person at alt outline i think yes that's what's called it okay now that we're gonna go ahead we're gonna scroll up because we have the refactor or scaffold widget right guys so let's just go ahead and right click to our scaffold let's select the widget and we have to name it default tab controller every time they use this widget you have to refactor your scaffold okay and and it requires uh two properties initial index and the length so it's gonna be initial index one right and the length is gonna be two because we have two tabs very simple if you have three tabs three tabs now let's go back all right and we can go ahead and start creating our content as you guys can see i saved the changes and it works it's per perfect it looks really good really cool design of instagram in the profile i really like it let me see what we have to do next i just have to do the content of each tab right so that would be pretty easy uh that's my advice if you ever code a similar if you ever cut in a similar app to this and you're gonna use uh, these tabs i recommend that you uh, make the content of these tabs in different pages all right i'm just gonna do it in the same page because uh, this is gonna be a long video already so i don't want to make it in i don't want to make it longer but that would be good this would be bad practice uh, the best thing that you can do is uh, separate these pages and code whatever you want to code the content of the tabs in other screens okay okay i'm gonna put a comma here and we're gonna do a expanded widget because we want uh everything or content to expand to the rest of our space we're gonna select the top bar view all right guys and this is gonna have a children and this is gonna be of type widgets all right and here we need to create two widgets because we have two bar views all right this is very important just want you to let i uh, want to let you know and i'm going to show you right now what i mean by that so this is our first widget the center this is going to have a column we're going to have a children let's make it a constant so okay so this would be the equivalent to the first screen all right this center widget so i'm just going to make an icon so it's going to be icon let's close parentheses icons uh, it's gonna be dot camera out outline all right okay guys let's select the color uh, it's gonna be a white color so let's say colors are white and then the size is gonna be 60 okay and we will go ahead and save the changes exactly this is what I told you so we have two tabs and we are just having one widget so flutter is gonna scream at us because we need uh, two we, whatever the amount of tabs that we have we need those widgets we need the same value so we need to have another one right another widget right here that's what that's why we are getting an error it's just it's very simple guys it's clear so let's go ahead and create another widget okay guys so we're just gonna go ahead and copy this widget because it's essentially the same let's paste it here and save and i think we have to restart our app okay let's hot the reload because uh we kind of screw up uh, the system here so let's go back here and perfect we have our widget on screen uh we can navigate within our tabs it looks good this uh in instagram we have posts here so we have other screens but we're just gonna do this icon right now so you guys get the idea let's change this icon it's person at all right and we also have to change the text as well so it's gonna be okay of you all right for photos and videos of you all right and this one is no post yet so okay we're pretty much done in our profile it wasn't that hard just a lot of widgets here well it looks good it looks beautiful a beautiful ui and now we can go ahead and concentrate in on the other screen. We're gonna go ahead really quick and we're gonna start uh, 
building or search screen okay now i have our search screen right here this is it and as you guys can see we have a search uh, uh search text we have a search text field and we have a grid view so let's just go ahead and navigate there uh let's close this so everything looks cleaner and right here we have our search screen now we're gonna create an app board and this app board uh is gonna have or only widget which is the text field so let's say actions no actions actually it's, uh by default we have to put automatically implied leading faults all right and we're gonna select the background color which is gonna be colors of black okay and now we have to say title and for this uh we're gonna create a widget but we're gonna do it in our widget folder okay is this one right here so our code looks cleaner so let's just go ahead and do so so let's put this uh, to the side again let's go ahead, go ahead to our folders in widgets okay we're gonna create a new file and it's gonna be called custom uh, field custom text is actually better so custom text dot art we have to do our same procedure so import the material the door we're gonna create a stateless widget let's name it custom text now we're gonna use the same container actually so let's uh, okay container and we're gonna start giving it its properties okay first of all i before I forget we have to pass in a variable so it's gonna be a final every text field uh whenever you are passing values in databases or local databases whatever you want to pass values or make the text field remember your values you not you need to use a control text control so anyways let's go ahead and create our container uh we're gonna specify a hit and y and width so we're gonna do our child which is gonna be a text field and let's specify these properties the first one is going to be the controller we have to pass in our controller so as i as was saying guys the controller remembers for text whenever we ta a text uh, type something so now let's do a decoration it's going to be of type input decoration so let me type input let's close this and inside here we're going to say our properties so the first one is going to be the border so we need a border uh it's gonna be outline input border this one the first one here we have to close and it's gonna have a border radius a border radius circular and we're going to let's say 15 all right we have to specify the fill color so the color of our widget is gonna be gray and we can we can do shade all right so i guess shade 700 Okay, I remember I used this value in other widgets before. Let's do uh, next property, which is going to be the icon color. It's going to be white and field. It has to be true by default, otherwise you won't see changes. Now we have to do our constraints. So with this property, you can control the weight and height of your widget. So constraints the type four, and we are going to pass to parameters width and height. Right? Width is going to be three hundred and twenty-seven. And the height is gonna be 60. Now the prefix icon is gonna be an icon. Okay, it's gonna be a search outline. So icons, search outline. All right, and we have to give it a color, which is gonna be white. No, I mean gray. All right, so it looks good. Okay, guys, I think we are done here. So let's go ahead and save the changes and now we can go ahead and navigate back to our search screen let's import this text custom field all right so in here in the title a property we're gonna go ahead and type custom field custom text we can save and boom we have our custom text but it seems our icon is a little bit it's different though i selected the other one it has a little x right there so let me change these as search it's just search okay all right now that we have our custom field we can go ahead and create or 
a grid view so let me drag this uh, in the center so you guys can see this is another widget which is pretty useful uh, for this kind of layouts so it's similar to the list view I'm gonna show you the syntax right now in our body we're gonna select a grid view builder okay so we're gonna have two properties required by default the first one we need to specify uh, the silver grid delegate with fixed cross uh, this one this uh, this is uh, this right here right now let's uh, do the item builder so it's just as the list view we have to pass a context and an index and we have to return a widget all right so we're gonna have to create another e widget which is gonna be an image card so it's gonna be the, li the layout for these images so it's just close parentheses and we can go ahead and create before that let's specify the properties here I'll show you uh, once we are done here what these properties mean so in the meantime just say this cross axis account the main axis spacing and the uh, cross axis spacing it's gonna be one as well okay now that we are done here we have to go to our widgets folder and we're gonna create this image card so inside here let's import the material uh, the dart let me just copy and paste this and we're gonna uh, do one more time a stateless widget so it's gonna be called image card it's gonna be really simple guys we're gonna use a clip react for this one it's similar to a container so let's uh, first of all require uh, we're gonna need an image uh, data all right I'll show you what I mean with this property right now let's create uh, our variable so it's gonna be a final image data and it's gonna be called image data all right so semicolon here and we are gonna have to create this image data all right because this is a class this is type image data all right so in the meantime we can go ahead and do a pattern here we're gonna create this widget really quick uh, let's do a const edge insets it's gonna be all it's just gonna be one we don't want that many much padding between our images and the child is gonna be clip react which is pretty much uh, just as a container but looks more beautiful in a sense is you can style it more so we pass our image here it's gonna be a network image so we're gonna be passing a URL so here we have to specify our image data so we're gonna have to go ahead on our data folder and create our images or class and put all of our images inside there all right so the URLs so let's go ahead here data copy and paste and we're gonna name it this image data the dart so for this I already have the code it's not really code though it's just a class with the links so let's copy paste everything here all right let me save the changes here so this is the this is all of our images guys now we have to import this uh, image data all right now that we have imported here we can uh, call it in our image network so inside of image network we have to go ahead and type image data dot so the property image url does on the image data class inside and we have to select the fit which is going to be a cover fit so our pictures look nice so let's save the changes and we can go back to our search screen so and then image data we're gonna pass our image data all right guys so inside here let's say image data and it's gonna be an image list and we're gonna pass an index okay. I was getting an error because I forgot to put the account just as our list we need to specify account so in our image list the length all right so now let's save the changes here and it should be back to work so let's just factor this up and let me navigate here and as you guys see we have done it this is our grid view it looks beautiful okay guys now that we are done with our search screen we can go ahead and create our shopping uh, screen which is pretty much the same as this one so it's gonna have us a great uh, great uh, view as well 
just gonna be a little bit different so let me navigate here on our na simulator and we're gonna have to create a scaffold you guys are already familiar with the syntax okay so now let's create our app bar we have to say the automatically implied leading to false the background is gonna be black okay guys now here in our title we have to uh, color custom text let's just save the changes here as you guys can see we have our uh, text right there our custom text field and the background is white for now we haven't specified this um, now we are gonna create a uh, actions a uh, property and inside here we're gonna do a row and children because we need two icons here okay so the first one uh, needs a padding so padding of padding and edge insets all right and it's gonna have eight and eight padding in all sides and it's gonna have a child which is gonna be an icon So this icon is going to be called shopping cart. All right, perfect. So looks a little bit small. So let's give it a size of a 30. Okay, looks perfect now. Now we can go ahead and copy this pattern and paste it one more time in a row. So Let's just change the name. Here we say table rows rounded. Okay. Let me save the changes and boom, we have our app for shopping. It looks really beautiful. So the background color for the scaffold is gonna be black. Let me change this quick quickly. And boom. Now we need our uh, list view. Or grid view sorry so let's copy and paste this grid view builder here and inside here or body let's copy and paste let's just uh, import uh, this image list and this image card and we are going to change this value to two so we only want two per row okay i'm forgetting a comma here and boom all right this is pretty much our shopping cart it's really simple it was easy uh, it was easiest screen so far okay but our app is i think is coming together we already um, we are almost done we have an instant we are having an instagram good looking app now we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna create our real screen okay guys so this is not gonna be the heart so let me just show you in our designs uh let me find it it's here so this one is the only special thing is going to be this is going to be the design but the functionality here is going to be the same as TikTok once you you swipe per screen so every time you swipe you pass you go vertically to another screen all right i'm going to show you the code to do that and right now let's navigate to the real screen and in here we're going to do a variable so let's text it and this is going to be a controller okay it's gonna be a page controller so this is gonna allow us to switch uh, uh, pages all right so each page is gonna be a widget essentially now we're gonna have to create a scaffold and then this scaffold a body and here we're gonna name our widget which is called page view this is our widget now pass a controller controller and import the controller all right and the scroll direction by default is going to be horizontal so we have to change that to vertical so change this and our children so here is where our widgets are gonna be or screens so we're just gonna create two because of testing purposes but here pretty much you do this dynamically with page view builder but we're not gonna do that today guys this is just an example guys of how you would do this so we're gonna create those widgets statically so let's go ahead and data and we're gonna create our widgets okay so let's say real example one. OK, 
okay in real example 2 the dart I'm gonna go ahead and create them right now so we can see changes on the screen because we need to pass the two widgets as well so let's copy and paste this material the dart and paste it here let's say let's make an ins let's make a stateless widget it's gonna be the example real one so let's just call call it that let's save changes and let's navigate to the other widget the same here we're gonna import the material the dart and we are gonna call our widget real example 2 okay we're not gonna do we're not gonna do anything uh, here so I'm just gonna go ahead and go back to our real example 1 and here's where we're gonna build the layout okay so let's do a scaffold body you guys are already familiar with this uh, center and we're gonna call it uh, screen 1 so you guys can see the functionality right now and Let's go back to our screen, uh, real screen, and import the two widgets, all right? So you guys are going to have to see this back in live. So let's go and grab these. And as you guys can see, every time I swipe, the screen changes. So just real style, TikTok style, Instagram real style. Okay, it's pretty cool. Now let's go back here. And we're gonna start doing our design so let me grab the image design that we have here and see what we have to do the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna change the color right so let's just say a black color now we have to create our app bar because we have two things here so let's call the widget app bar and we have to specify or automatically false right guys don't forget this uh, the background color for up bar is also important, so it's gonna be black Now we have the title and it's gonna be a constant and it's gonna be a text This is gonna be our text reels, right? The one that you see on screen right now, so text that and do a comma We have to style it a little bit. We just need a, a weight, right? So it's gonna be a font weight so textile here and call the property phone weight and it's gonna be a phone weight bold so boom now save these changes and boom uh, text appears in screen we're making progress we're almost done here so let's call actions and it's gonna be a constant with padding and this padding is gonna have a edge inset of 8 and let's create our icon in this child and it's called camera outline this one right here and it has a size of 30 right this is the size by default and it's perfect okay now in our body we are gonna go ahead and create uh, a column all right because we're gonna do this vertically so we have to specify our children and for this example I'm gonna use expanded widget I'm gonna show you how to apply the expanded widget right now so you guys can see how easy it is and how easy it is to build uh, responsive layouts so this is gonna have a child and this child hold on is a center and this child has a text and we're gonna just let's put a style here so we can see it so it's gonna be a color white okay this is gonna have a child and a center widget and this center widget is gonna have a column okay so this is gonna be the second part of the screen let's go ahead and put our children here and inside here we have to create a row so this is gonna where our heart icon that you guys can see right now on screen is gonna be so main axis alignment it's gonna be a main axis alignment that end this makes uh widgets go by default to the right of the screen so it's good really useful so the padding is gonna be an edge inset all right let's just put an eight here and inside here we have to 
put another column all right because we have two widgets right there so we have the number of likes that we have so let's make this a constant since we only gonna have a text and an icon so the icon is gonna have a favorite name favorite uh, outline okay and let's make a size of 30 and a color of white so the color is white here and the size boom now below these we need a text so the text it's just gonna have a 144k uh, okay you know tiktok you you always get a lot of views and interactions blah 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 the textile is gonna be white okay this looks really good so as you guys can see we have our two uh, expanded widgets and they both occupy half of the screen each okay that's how that's why they responsive and uh, if you specify the flex property in one of them and I'll show you what I mean by that right now so let me put this on screen back put it back on screen as you guys can see right now they occupy uh, both half of the screen but if I put the flex here on two it means uh, this uh, first widget is gonna occupy two times the screen all right and the other one is just gonna occupy half of the other widget right so if we divide the screen in three parts the first one is going to occupy it two times and the last one only one because it has flex by default one all right that's it it's really simple concept so let's me let me put a line here so we can differentiate between the two of them i'm gonna save the changes and now uh, let me check our uh, emulator here and let me go back to our design so we can see what we're doing and for the same uh, we have the same basically the same thing in our column we have another uh, row a column and another row okay so I'm gonna go ahead and create a row and it's gonna have a main axis alignment just the same as before guys main axis alignment the end so i also uh, will have a children and a padding all right so our padding is gonna have an edge inset of eight all right so this so our column our next column doesn't look too close to the right all right so it looks better this column is gonna have a children we uh property and make it a constant guy since we only have icons and text and this icon uh it's gonna be the chat bubble right so icons dot chat bubble outline around it yes that's what that's what it's called it's right here now we have to specify the color and the size color is gonna be white and the size is gonna be 30. now the text okay this is pretty simple guys and the text here we have a six uh, 563 now we have to style it Let's just give it a color of white so textile widget color property and we say white let me save the changes on screen and we are almost done here so everything is looking good we only need to create our last row okay this is just gonna be a row so let's just copy and paste this one here i'm gonna put a divider as well so we can differentiate um okay this is just good practice guys i highly recommend it to do it it's easier to find things especially if the code gets too big and you can also add some comments here so you know what you are looking for now let's create our last of, let's create our last row so let's put our children here but before the main main axis alignment and it's gonna have a main axis alignment that space between all right 
So in our children, we need another row. So is a row inside a row because we have we've seen this before, guys. In the post uh, um, card, we did this before. So these children, it's gonna have a pattern. All right. So we are gonna put our story widget here. And we I'm gonna give it a top. All right of pattern of three so it's not so crowded uh here let's put a size box because we need to dynamically change uh a height and weight here so 55 and 55 and the child is gonna be our circle story perfect now let me see the changes in screen and yes it's looking really good now we only need our username and our last icon to the right so let's put a size box uh, before anything else with the width so we have some space between them and let's create our text uh, let's put our username one two three and uh, select the style let's uh, give it a color and a size right, I think so style property and text style is going to be of type widget and a color it's going to be a white color and the font size is going to be 15. okay guys now create our padding this is our last last icon uh const uh let's do a const here and edge insets all and inside here uh, we have to create a child and this child is gonna be a column and children let's specify our children here guys and here uh, we're gonna put our icon let's put a cons guys so we don't get those blue ugly lines so icon and we have to call it near me outline uh, yeah, that's the name of the icon and the white color it's gonna be a white color and the size is gonna be 30 just like the icons above this one and I think boom we are done here yes we are done this is the design of a real screen of course in real Instagram you have a video but this is not for this tutorial maybe in other tutorials, I'm gonna use the same code to make this, to create a backend for this same code. We can add videos dynam dynamically, uh, but not today. But yeah, this is the design for now. We are pretty much done here. I think we have finished with our four, with our five tabs. Now we can go ahead and concentrate on our last two screens, which are the login and the register screen. And we're gonna, uh, give functionality to our buttons so we can navigate between of them because right now we there's no way for us to navigate there we just can navigate navigate between our tabs okay guys now we are going to design our login page uh let's see this is our design so far uh it looks it's looking pretty good so here we're going to navigate uh, to our login page in our emulator and this is the login page it's not going to be the heart. So now we're going to change this container to a scaffold. Okay, guys. Let's select the background color. Our background color is going to be black as well. We're not going to use a nav bar for this uh, UI. So let's go ahead and create the body. It's going to be a column. Okay. And we're going to have children. And I'm going to use expanded widgets uh, here so you guys can see how we use them another example of expanded we used them before so inside this expanded we're going to put a center widget which is going to have a child who's going to have text okay so let's type text here text widget close parentheses and here we're going to put our english this is in the real application. This is where you select languages. We're just going to have, uh, we're just going to put a text here. Yes. Uh, now we have to put a textile and the textile is going to be just white color. Okay. Let's save the changes. And as you guys can see, since we're using expanded, it takes up the entire screen. All right. So we're going to use a, uh, column of expanded widgets. 
gonna create another expanded okay so we push our first expanded to the top so we're gonna put a flex here this is gonna have a flex of two so it's gonna occupy two times the screen all right now we are dividing the screen three three parts so this center is gonna have a child and we're gonna put a text where it's gonna be empty so it's just gonna be an empty expanded basically and as you see uh we're pushing our first expanded to the top perfect now we have to create our next expanded widget okay here's where we're gonna put everything pretty much everything in this ui so it's gonna have a flex of four let's select our child which, which is gonna have a column here here's the column let's put our children okay we have to select the container here are we gonna place our image let's make this a constant as well so we don't get these ugly errors okay in the container we have to select the height and a width so height is gonna be 60 and the width is gonna be a 180 let's select the child and we have to put our image here so image of image and asset image okay we just have to put the location of our image is in the folder uh, assets and images all right so just let me type that really quick and boom as you see we are seeing changes in screen right now we have our Instagram image here let's keep going uh, let's create a size box so we have some space in between let's put the height of 15 yes make this a constant now put a comma here and we're gonna create a uh, or text field now okay guys so okay let's uh type text field and the decoration is gonna be of input decoration let's close parentheses the first uh property is going to be border all right so let me drag this down here so it looks better and we're going to say outline input border uh, widget the first one right here and we're going to select border radius so we want to give border radius to this border border radius that circular uh, this and you should be familiar with this syntax already uh, and let's make an 11 here okay now we have to okay it's not here it's here let's select the fill color now the color is going to be gray shade 700 all right this is the color that we've been using so far throughout the application okay looks good now we have to select an icon so let's just go ahead and type prefix icon okay it's this uh, one right here and the color for this icon is going to be white now we have to select field uh, true otherwise you won't see the changes of the fill uh, properties and boom we have our text that's it right there now we have to decorate a little bit the text a little bit but first let's do the constraints this is how you control height and width so you have to type box constraints dot type four this is a function by default for Flutter and the width is going to be 327 and the height is going to be 50. Okay. Now the hand style is going to have a hand style and it's going to have a color gray. All right, guys. So this is going to be the color of the text that we're going to have inside of our input and the input finally let me just type that here and you just type it here okay and it's gonna be phone number email or username just as Instagram have it in its login page let me save those changes and it looks pretty good right now let's put a comma here let's copy and paste this size box all right and now now 
we have to uh, pretty much copy and paste the same here. We're going to copy and paste this text field again. All right, so let's just replace the text to password. Uh, we could, uh, okay, it's looking good. Now we have to create our button, okay? So we're gonna use a container. We could use the button widget, but I like, I prefer using container. So let's create the height and width as we are used to it already, right? So with 50. Now we have to put a decoration, which is gonna be a box decoration. We select the color, it's just gonna be blue, right? Mm, yes, right here we have our box now we have to put a pattern to this so it looks a little bit better so let's select the comma here and border radius border radius circular it's gonna be a 15. let me type that here real quick circular 15 boom save changes and now uh, we're pretty much done with the decoration so let's just select the child and it's gonna have a center and we're gonna put a text inside okay so child and put the text widget login okay let's style this a little bit let's give it a font weight and a, and a color okay i think it's black by default so color is gonna be white and the font weight is gonna be font weight the bold Okay, it's looking good. Now we have a button. We are almost done with our UI here. We need a couple of texts. Let's um, see what I can do here. I'm going to uh, refactor this and I'm going to put it an inkwell. This is gonna make our container a button. So on the top, we have to put a function and here is where we're gonna put our navigation. So type navigator dot off context okay the push not pop the push that's for going back to our screen you guys have to put material page route here and it's gonna have a builder inside which is gonna be a context and now we have to select the screen that we want to navigate with so it's gonna be main screen so or tabs all right because the main screen has all of our screens inside its screen, okay? Let's save changes here. And we should uh, take, test this out so to see if it works and it's working, perfect. We have a navigation, now let's go back. Okay, now made this a constant so our code looks cleaner and keep working okay on the layout now below here we need a, a size box so let me copy and paste this really quick we're gonna change the value to 10 and okay below here we need a road because we're gonna have two text just below this button so let's say children okay And we're gonna put our text here. It's gonna be for God your login details. Uh, here, if you were making a real application, you just would, uh, just like we did with the button, you refactor this text and refactor it into an inkwell or a gesture detector, and you can apply navigation. Okay, to pretty much any widget. It's pretty cool and very useful with Flutter. That's why I like this framework. Uh, so the style here is just gonna be white. Give it a color of white. Now let's just copy and paste this since we have a row here. Now just replace text and we're gonna put a font weight so we differentiate and let's type get help uh, logging in. Yes.
and since we're using expanded widgets this is responsive so in every screen no matter the size this is always going to be the uh, design of our screen all right so for example this flex is always has a flex of four so it always is going to occupy four times the time of the screen compared to the other widgets uh to the one that we have on top and the first one okay it's really great and easy way to designing now saving changes and boom we have our text I'm gonna come here and I'm going to copy and paste this expanded quiz because we need two more expanded. This is gonna be empty expanded. All right, so we can push or uh, for uh, middle expanded or biggest expanded to the middle a little bit more. And okay, and then move. I think I pasted on the wrong. I think I pasted inside the row. Let me just copy and paste this really quick and it should be uh, below this row actually, All right? Okay, now jump up a little bit. Perfect. Now we have to create our last, last expanded. Okay, and we're going to have our navigation to our re just register screen. Okay so it's just gonna be an expanded with a child of a row okay let's select the main axis alignment we're gonna center it perfect now let's create our children okay the first uh, text is gonna be don't have an account let me type that really quick. I'm gonna use double quotations because uh, we have a don't have an account. Okay, perfect. And let me put the, this here. Perfect. Now style. Now we have to give it a style. It's just gonna be very simple, guys. It's just a white color. Colors dot white. Now let's make this a constant and now we're just going to copy and paste the same widget here. Let's put a comma here. Copy. Okay, now let's just replace this and we're going to put sign up. Have to delete the question mark. Okay, this shouldn't be here. And I think let's just give it a font weight of bold. So it's a little bit uh, okay, more visible to the perfect. Now I'm refactoring this because uh, we need to navigate to the register screen so we can design it. So let's create the inkwell. Let's put the property on top. We're going to use the same syntax. Okay, so let's do our navigator. Dot of context we're gonna push this with the material page route and it's gonna be register screen simple now I think we're getting an error because we have to delete the constant this is a constant anymore so let's just make this text a constant and this one as well and then we're missing our semicolon and all right, I think we are pretty much done here with our login screen. It's pretty good. Now let me pop up this uh, design image here so we can see what we're doing next. It's gonna be very similar to this one. It just has a little bit more things. Let me navigate, see the navigation works. It's testing our navigation. We go to our profile. I put a, a inkwell in our profile screen in the top corner so we can navigate as well. So this is our register screen now. This is the last screen of our uh, tutorial. If you're making it this far, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. It helps a lot. Okay, guys, so now we're going to make our scaffold. This scaffold is going to have a background color. We're not going to use app bars here. 
anymore so the body we're gonna give it since we have so many things here we're gonna give it a single child scroll view which is a widget that allows you to scroll no matter how much it's similar to the list but different at the same time it just allows you to have more widgets at the sides of the screen and it makes it scrollable so for the padding uh, property we have to specify uh, edge insets all this is a constant as well, so it's going to be 16. Now the, for the child, we're going to have a column. I'm just going to use, I'm not going to use expanded widgets here. I'm going to give you another uh, way of doing it. So, so I'm just going to use a column and we're going to use size boxes to separate widgets, right? I in all, Honestly, I prefer the size box, but well, this is a different approach. So let's create the row. I'll put our children here. Now let me put the main axis alignment property before I forget. It's going to be a center. And inside here we have to put a container because I think our image goes here. So yes, as a container. Now, uh, okay, it's not alignment. We have to specify our height and our width first height 60 and our width is going to be 180 now the image is going to be asset image all right so let's specify the path it's going to be in our assets images all right and the image is called logo.png Save changes and boom, we there we there we go. We have our Instagram image right there. Let's put a comma here. And now we have to create our next widget, which is gonna be a text below this one. So the main axis alignment is gonna be a center. The children is gonna be a text. So let me just put the uh, uh, here. And we are gonna type sign up to see pictures and photos from your friends, just as the Instagram register page. Okay, from your friends. Let me type that right. Perfect. Give it a style of white color, okay? Style. Okay, this is good. Now I'm gonna go ahead, refactor this, right? So below this row, I uh, have to put a size box. Okay guys, so here uh, we're gonna use a container and this container is gonna be for a button, okay? This is gonna be your Facebook button. So let me put uh, the this image here so you guys can see. This is gonna have a row inside because we have an icon and a text. So, yes, it's also pretty cool that Flutter by default comes with icons such as Facebook, YouTube, Snapchat, has so many icons. I highly recommend that you go through the navig to the documentation and check it out. You can find many things there. You don't have to use external libraries. Uh, okay, so the height for this container is going to be 40. So the decoration, let's make it a decoration, a box decoration. Okay, so the color is going to be blue. Colors are blue. Okay, boom, we have our button there. Uh, what's the next step, right? Border. Let's give it a border radius and it's going to be a circular. And let's make it 10. I think 10 is right. Yes, so it looks perfect. Now, in other buttons, we're only been using uh, text inside this as a child, but this one, this time, we're going to use a row. So this gives you an idea that you can pretty much put whatever you want inside our, our containers, All right? You can do a column on a row. So the center, let's center them. And we have a children here. And the first one is going to be an icon. And it's going to be dot Facebook. And boom. Now we have that Facebook icon in screen. Looks pretty good. Now have a separation, so size box of width actually and seven. 
now let's create our center widget and it's gonna have a text child and we're gonna put our text so login with facebook maybe in the future i'm gonna use firebase authentication with facebook google i'm gonna make a tutorial about those and we can use this button or actually this instagram application and make it and make it a backend so it's even more cool it's a cool project so this is gonna have a white color so the weight is gonna be fun weight up bold. Let me make this a constant, save changes, and boom, we have our Facebook button, okay? So our register, our last screen is coming along. Below this container, we're gonna use a size box, all right? So instead of, as you guys can see, this is the different approach. We were using expanded widgets before to separate our sections in screens. Now we're using just a column with a size box as to uh, give it space between widgets. Now we have to create our row. Okay. Now the center it with the main axis alignment property for children below. I'm going to show you the image so you guys can see what we're going to do next. And this is going to be a uh, line or text so this is simple we've done this before so for lines just use container and give it a height of one so it's really thin and a longer width all right so it's gonna be a row with one container one text and another container so the white the height is one and the width is gonna be 150 and we're gonna put a color of white okay no actually it's not white it's gonna be shade 700 so create dot shade 700 now let's create a padding so we have some space between these widgets and inside our pattern we're going to put our text so let's put the pattern of eight and the child is going to have a text widget and let's type or and the style is going to be great okay so text style widget color property and the color is going to be colors that are great okay um oh yes i forgot that i forgot to type the property so below before this uh color okay now let's just copy and paste our container and paste it one more time be after this uh text and there you go we have that on screen it's good now let's navigate back to our login screen we're just gonna copy and paste this text because we used it before it's good now let's copy and paste it with our size box too so copy here and below we're gonna paste it four times one two three four save changes and oops i think i pasted i pasted these widgets inside of row so this is what happens when you over uh, flow things that's why we use a single child scroll view in our column so if we make it bigger than the size of our screen it, it, this error doesn't happen so there you go you have that let's replace changes right now let's replace this text okay so we're gonna type name here or not actually let's do username first i think it's username yes and we're gonna have an email here now we're gonna have our name and that's that's it right and password now let me go back here now we have to copy and paste our button so let's just copy and paste everything with our inkwell included and below this okay and now we just have to import our main screen so we don't get this error save changes and there you go we have our login change this for register so every time you press this button you are also gonna go to our main screen all right really cool copy and paste these all uh, size box here now we only need two more uh, text fields and the navigation to our login. Okay, so we can jump in between login and register. Let's make this a 120. 
all right so we have some space now we're gonna copy and paste this row because it's pretty much the same thing we just have to replace their text all right just copy and paste it without the expanded and below this paste the row and there you go now let's replace their text widgets okay so for the first one we have to type okay first of all let's change this to login screen so we know we can navigate there go back and forth between screens and put here have an account now we have to put one more size box here because we need another text just below a register button so for that we're going to use this row and this is just for the terms and uh, policies that instagram has in the register screen before you sign up Okay, so let's delete these. Let's replace this text because there's only one um, text. So by signing in, you agree to our terms and policies, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is going to make our UI look even better. All right, save changes. And there you go, guys. Uh, that was our last widget. This is our folder structure, guys. Uh, we have our data, we created our screens, we created our widgets, we separate our code between two parts. This is what we call clean architecture. Now, let me track this to the center. Uh, let's navigate between screens. This was our login screen. This is our register. We have a home page. Uh, we have a list view here, a list view here. Everything looks really good. Now we have our search screen. Uh, we have our reels we have the same uh, navigation as uh, Instagram so we have our shop as well with our grid view and our profile screen guys it was a really cool project thank you so much for watching guys it was a really cool tutorial I hope to see you in the next don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's tutorial and see you the next time okay bye